Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your slides into a video very quickly by using videopuppet.com. This is a new service. I wrote about it last week and I've gotten a lot of questions about it since. So let's take a look. Let's just hit create a video now. And we're going to create from a presentation. Now it's important to note, you have to use a PowerPoint presentation and your PowerPoint presentation should have some speaker notes in it. So I have a file I'm going to use. It's called my demo file and I actually got it right from Video Puppet as a demo. And what it does is it imports all of those slides and you can edit the settings here and choose your voice. Choose your language if you like, use English. And you'll see I have different voices based on my language choice up here. Change my volume, speed, set some background music if I like, and let's go. So now it'll convert my slides into a video. All right, so now my video is all done and... Welcome, welcome to, video. to Video Puppet. There it is. Now, if I want to go back to the video, I can just hit the download button. It will download. Welcome, welcome to, video to Video Puppet. And I can download that MP4 file to use on my computer. Now, a couple of things to note. Let's go back to the beginning here and we'll create a new video. You'll notice I didn't sign up or sign into any account and you can upload a presentation that has up to 20 slides and have it converted to a video for free, which I think is more than adequate for most classroom applications. A video longer than that, your students probably aren't gonna watch the whole thing anyway. So make a series of short videos as opposed to one longer video. I'm gonna choose a different file this time. And this time I'm going to choose a file from my desktop that has some speaker notes in it that I wrote myself. So here's my PowerPoint that I created and you'll see I have my speaker notes down here in the bottom. And I have some more down here. One of the things to keep in mind so you don't want to have too many speaker notes per slide because the video is going to read all of those speaker notes aloud. So if you have a paragraph copied into your speaker notes, you're going to have a paragraph read aloud and people may tune out. So let's take a look at how this works with my slides. Let's choose a file. And I have that file on my desktop here. And again, it's going to upload and convert it for me. Now again, I'm going to choose my settings. I'm going to change it to English, US English. You'll see there's US, UK, and, a, and Australian. So we've got a few different options here. Let's hit that one, let's go. And again, now it's turning my slides into a video. All right, and so with this video, you'll notice that it's much longer than the previous one with the sample slide deck. These are my actual slides. There were 15 slides in this slide deck, and I had a bit more text in my speaker notes, and so the video's a little bit longer. Three strategies, Three strategies for remote, remote instructional, instructional technology, technology support. support. And, and so again, I can go back to that video when I'm done. I can download it or I can upload a new version as necessary. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me, can you do this with Google Slides? And the answer is yes, but there's a little step you need to take first. And that step is to convert your Google Slides into a PowerPoint file. So to do that, take your amazing sample slides, go to File, and download as PowerPoint. So now I have my amazing sample PowerPoint presentation that I can 
now use in video puppet. Let's say I'm going to upload that new presentation. I'm going to choose a file. Let's find my amazing sample presentation. There it is. And this one will probably convert a little bit more quickly because it only has three slides in it. So that's how you can use Video Puppet to turn your PowerPoint slides or your Google Slides into a video. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.